So um, older sister was a very talented basketball player, so naturally followed suit and wanted to be like her. So picked up the basketball at a young age. I have an older brother as well who played a little bit, but probably wasn't as serious as us girls. Um, and then he, I think, tried to get me into footy a little bit more and a bit of cricket. So I kind of, yeah, naturally just always had a, a ball of some sort in my hands playing with both of them. So I did seven years in WNBL. It's Looking back, it's quite some time, but um, definitely with basketball and any elite sport, there's highs and lows of it. So um, throughout that time, I was on some teams that probably weren't as successful as I would have liked. Um, we won also, during the year though, I won a championship. So it's what you play team sports for to win the championship. So to get that victory was uh, pretty, pretty special um, with a great bunch of girls as well. I kept playing and I think you just fall into a system that you enjoy it so much that you don't really want to let go of it. So when I decided to stop playing last year, it was quite hard. Um, and then the whole footy thing just picked up and I guess I'm very, very fortunate to have a second chance at staying in the early environment and trying a new sport and really giving it everything. Watching the first season, oh, it's I think hard for any any female to sit there and not be excited about the opportunities that future girls will, will have. Um, I sat there in the first game, Carlton Collingwood, and yeah, to, I got chills. I think just watching all the girls play. I was playing for Waverley um, against Bulleen in a final against Lauren Pierce, and yeah, she did beat me, but that's a side note. Um, and Brooke Patterson and Todd Patterson were at the game. Um, they were watching and Todd messaged me after saying, have you got any interest in playing footy? And I was like, oh, actually, like, yeah, I wouldn't mind giving it a go. Um, so I had a kick with him and obviously he saw what he liked and had a meeting with Mick and yeah, everything is pretty much in the history books now. Now here I am playing for Melbourne, so. So I think the first one I got up here was Living Life speaks for itself really and then I got the angel um, my mum's still alive but I think just a reminder that she's always on my shoulder watching over me so if anything ever does happen she's always there and I got the three uh, roses uh, one for each sibling and then kind of went a bit trying to fill space went a bit, bit, bit random what are what are you hoping to get out of this this year and I guess what uh, what can Melbourne fans expect to see from you look I have always pride myself on just giving everything so I'm just go out there and give 110% and whether that be good or bad or whatever but I'm definitely always going to give it my absolute best and look I'm obviously in the forward line so it'd be nice to take some take some marks give a few goals but again that's just little things I just want to make sure I give yeah, 100%.